Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another Game Maker Studio, studio tutorial. I love it when I just mess up words in my intro. So, ah, uh, and I also really don't like it when I forget to maximize that. So, this is going to be a rather complicated tutorial on text boxes. And it's also going to cover string manipulation, which a string is just, a f it's a fancy way of saying a section of text. That's how computers see text is in a string. I don't know why they decided to call it a string, but so the first thing we're gonna do is create an object because this tutorial actually doesn't need any sprites. And we're gonna call this object text box okay we're gonna add a create event and we're gonna create some variables now this is actually this example is going to use a DS list data structure so a list is just it's it's basically just a list of items that we're saving into a data structure that we can cycle through later and I'll kind of I'm just gonna code a lot of this and then kind of explain it it is a more advanced tutorial so if you get lost don't feel bad um, you can watch it a couple times you can use this even if you don't understand every single part of it so first thing we're gonna do is create some um, properties for this text box its width is going to be 240 pixels. Its height is going to be 120 pixels. And it's going to have some padding. And I'm going to give it an 8 pixel padding. And why? Oh, I forgot an equals sign. That is a subtraction sign. Okay. Now, uh, let's see. Keep track of the start starting line so we need to keep track of the very first line in our text that we display on the screen so we're going to do that with a ds list so start equals ds list create okay so we're creating a ds list ds list add so the first value we're going to add to this list the start list is going to be zero because the very first line is going to be at position zero. Next, we're going to keep track of the last space and current position. So for the current position, I'm going to use a variable called count. Very creative, I know. Count equals zero. For the space I'm going to use a variable called last space equals zero and we actually want to keep track of what line we're on in the list so this keeps track of all of the lines and this keeps track of what line we're on so just go line equals zero and set the message. We need to create a message. Um, I'm actually going to grab a message from here real quick. I think I've got the message in this. Yeah. So you can see this is usually how I do my tutorials. I create uh, an email that I send to myself Mess, let's see, message equals that whole thing. So I've got a really long message there. Um, you can create whatever message you want. Now we're going to create a string, which is actually what we show on the screen. And it's just going to be an empty string, nothing inside of it. Awesome. That's all we needed for the create event, which is, it's quite a bit, but now we're going to add another line of code and this is going to be a, another event and do game end. And we need to destroy our DS list. Destroy the DS 
list because we can't we've got to uh, it's a data structure we've got to clean up um, to make sure that we don't have a memory leak so let's do uh, ds list destroy and then the ID which is start and now that's done computers kinda lagging oh well whatever what is this oh get rid of that okay uh, go to the dry event and this is gonna be the big long one <laughs> this one is gonna be a lot of code so here we go draw the string and the box so first we're gonna draw the box which is just going to be draw set alpha I want the box to be partially transparent so I'm gonna give it an alpha value of 0.5 draw round rect um, color do x y x plus width y plus height and c black c black outline false and end it draw set alpha we'll set the alpha value back so our text isn't transparent set it back to one i want the text to be white so set the color to white draw uh draw let's see draw set color i wish they were consistent like this is color the one way and this is color the other way don't know why it can't be consistent can i do it the other way oh i guess i can <laughs> okay draw set color c white um Now, this part is where we check if the string has gone past the width. So are we past the width? Insert a line break. This has to be before um, where we check to see if where we're actually where we're actually checking to see if we've gone past the bottom of the text box. So um, this has to be before getting the last space variable or it won't work right. So if string width, so this checks the width of a string and the string we're wanting to check is string right which right now that's nothing it's absolutely zero there's nothing in there so the width zero if string width is greater than width minus padding minus padding we put that in there twice because there's padding on both sides of the width what are we going to do i accidentally put an extra parentheses there um so minus padding minus padding we are going to remove the space and replace it with a line break. So that's pretty easy. Message equals string delete message last space one so what does this do this says are we it has our string um, gone past the edge of whoops I bumped my mic there has our string gone luckily it didn't fall off of the Lord of, Lord of the Rings books <laughs> so has the string gone past the width of the text box if it has, delete the last space that we ran into. So we're trying to find out what, where was the last space um, before the string went off the text box. So we can enter a line break into that space. So we're first thing we're gonna do is delete the last space from the message. And we're only gonna delete one space. After we delete the space, 
we're actually going to enter a line break. So message equals string insert. Now the substring is going to be the line break, which is a um, the number symbol or the hashtag symbol. Um, message is going to be the string that we're going to put it into. And last space is going to be the location where we're going to put it in. After we've done that, we need to add this to our location of um, start last space plus one. So we need to add this to our list because this list is a list of where all the lines end. So this is the end of the very first line. Now, after we've done that, what we need to do is make, make sure we have not reached the end of the message, right? If count is less than string length, message. So the string length is actually how many um, how many letters are in the string and count is our current position in the string. So if we're left if we haven't reached the end of the string yet then there's still more. So what we're gonna do inside of here is are we at a space set the last space variable. So if string char at um, message count equals and then a space, right? That's checking to see if what character is at our current position. Is it a space? If it is, then last space equals count. Basically, the last space is going to be we're keeping track of what the last space was, what position it's at in the string. And then outside of that, we want to increment the count. So count plus plus. Now we're, we're almost done. So <laughs> we're getting close. Um, did we go past the bottom move up a line. So if we went past the bottom, we want to move up a line. If string height string is greater than height minus padding. And I found mine looked better if I only did padding once this time. Line plus plus. So increment the line that we're on. And then very last, we want to draw the actual string. Draw text. Oops, that shouldn't be. Let's see. Draw the text. Draw text. X plus padding. Y plus padding. String. I forgot something. We need to grab the string um, right here. Grab the string. String equals string copy. So this is copying from our message into what we want to actually draw. And we only want to grab a section of the message based on all of our calculations that we've done before. So message ds list find value. So we're going to grab a value. This is going to be start line. So what line do we want to start copying from? Count. This is the end minus ds list find value start line. So we want to do the very end of the string, the very end of where our count is minus 
where the starting line is so that we don't accidentally add on extra numbers to that. So, and that should be the end of this tutorial. Yes, I know it's complicated, but if you step through it slowly, um, you will understand what I'm doing. Also, I recommend just messing around with some of this just to see what happens. Trying to do it yourself is a good way to learn too. So I'm going to, um, hopefully this works. <laughs> I really hope this works because this is, this tutorial, I was uh, helping out one of my patron backers and this is, this gets kind of complicated. Okay, so it looks like I spelled last space right. This will help you guys. If you get an error message, try and read what the error message says. So execution error, variable get. So it's trying to get this variable. Last space, only you can blatantly see that I spelled last wrong. And it tells me exactly where the error is. In the dry event for this object at line 14. So let's abort and come into here, come into my dry event and find line 14. And you can see that I spelled last wrong. So easy fix, right? Error messages are awesome because they're the easiest uh, errors to fix because it tells you exactly where you need to go to fix it and what you're doing wrong. If it's a glitch that doesn't give you an error message, then it can take a lot longer to fix. So hopefully it'll work this time. So it's uh, when it gets to the end of the word, it's entering in the line breaks. Oh, yep, it worked. It uh, My message isn't quite as long as it used to be though. So I'm actually gonna make it just a little bit longer so that we can just to get a better idea of how this works. So, so that I can show everyone um, this is the end of the tutorial video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to, let's see. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe you rock and i bumped my mic again i really need to get a microphone stand i'm gonna knock my mic off of this lord of the rings tower book thing that i've got here so okay let's run this one more time and cross our fingers that it works for the whole thing <laughs> and that you guys are able to learn something from this video, even though it's definitely one of my more complicated videos. It's a combination of a lot of things and that's what makes it more complicated. Okay, yep, you can see. And if you wanna make it look nicer than it currently does, because I did try and set this up to look nice. You just change the background color, the text box, will be partially transparent and it will look good basically in any game that you were to put this in. Um, so you can, you can use this in any game you want to. You don't actually have to understand the nitty gritty details of how it works to be able to use it in your game. And it looks really quite nice. So I like the way it looks. So thank you guys again for watching. And be sure to share this video with your friends, like, favorite, comment, ask questions. I really appreciate you guys, and I will talk to you guys later.